Iran's nationwide uprisings entered its 167th day today, as locals in the capital Tehran are reporting yet another poisonous gas attack on Wednesday, this time targeting the Olds Girls School, Hajjah. One of the locals has reported that it has the stench of oranges and is heavy in the air. At least one school in the city of Karaj, Adabil, and another in Kermanshah are also reporting poisonous gas attacks following an explosion. Also students of an all-girls school in Esfahan's University of Technology were the target of a poisonous gas attack today. In Tehran, residents chanted death to the child killing regime following the deliberate poison attack on all girls' schools. And parents of students rallied outside the Sizai Oban school following the poisoning of their children. Students also chanted death to the child killing regime. People and students staged a protest in the capital chanting anti-regime slogans including death to Khamenei. NCRI President Alak Mayan Majavi condemned the poisonous gas attacks targeting schools in several cities across the country, urging UN Special Rapporteur and UN Commission on Status of Women to immediately question the clerical regime and calling on the World Health Organization to send a delegation to deal with this tragedy. In Shush, Southwest Iran, retirees and pensioners of the Social Security Organization protested calling for higher wages and equality among all retirees. On Tuesday night, locals in Tehran's Narmak, Olhak, and Sadeghye, and other districts chanted anti-regime slogans, including death to Khamenei and death to the dictator. Other slogans included death to the oppressor, be it the Shah or the Supreme Leader, and poverty, corruption, high prices. We're going to overthrow this regime. بشعارات مناهضة للنظام بما في ذلك الموت لخامنئي والموت للدكتاتور ومن الشعارات الأخرى الموت للظالم سواء كان الشاه أو المرشد الأعلى خامنئي والفقر والفساد وغلاء الأسعار سنقوم بإسقاط هذا النظام ونزل طلاب جامعة جمران في طهران Students of Chamron University in Tehran took to the streets on Tuesday protesting a decision made by officials to hold classes online for the next three weeks and close the campus dormitory as a result. Last night, in Khoram Shah, southwest Iran, defiant youth torched a statue of former IRGC Quds Force Chief Basim Soleimani.